2023. Yeah. Hey man, say man, welcome to the first video of 2023. Guys, I'm so excited. I hope everyone is good. If you are new into this channel, thank you so much for taking your time to watch my video. My name is Liva Masilo. And to those who been with me, the OGs of this channel, thank you so much also for being there with me. Okay, guys, today is Sunday. It's a covenant service that I'm going to be attending. I'm late, but I said, let me just shoot this intro and then be able to get going. Because my aim was to sit and make it like a story but I decided that I must just make it up uh, a vlog, which it will make sense. You see from the title, um, guys, it's a new year. We're making new plans. Uh, people are so crazy out there. People are so excited. People are happy. But um, I'm doing this video just to give an advice to many people who inspire to change their lives, who wants to do better things in to their lives and you know change is not easy we all inspire to do our best in our work achieve our peak performance and be at our zone guys if you want to be at your zone you need to start by knowing yourself understanding yourself understanding what you want where you want to be what you want to be and that takes time it's not something that you just wake up first of january yes i'm changing my life new year's resolutions this is what i'm gonna do it doesn't work like that you need to sit down it's funny how people they start thinking about resolutions when the year starts some of them they don't even start because they don't have money that means they have to wait for january so that they can have money some of them they think that if they've got money everything will work out but unfortunately it doesn't work out like this there's a lot of things that you need to consider remember guys it's not easy to leave your comfort zone and start something new it's not easy therefore i've got three things that I want you to look at them first because those are the challenges that you face. I'm definitely sure that you will make it into your zone. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Hey, yeah, hello, gang. Hello, gang. I am back from church. I had lunch. I'm good to go. Guys, um, I've heard a lot of people talking about New Year's resolutions. Uh, I hear a lot of people, they've got new plans for a new season, which is good. But I want us to look at the three things, only three things that are challenges that many people don't look at them. Those are the challenges that make us to fail on our new resolutions. The first one is being in decision, not knowing what you want, not knowing how to get it, and not having a plan. Um, I think that is one of the biggest problems that we are facing as people who make resolutions every year. If you haven't made a plan and you haven't decided how you're gonna tackle your plan, automatically it's a challenge to you, you're gonna fail. Um, I wish that you can change that. Uh, make sure that you've got a plan that you'll sustain for the longest time. Why I'm saying so, I know there's a lot of people who go to the gym, January. New Year's resolutions, go to the gym. First week, second week, third week, 
they are almost tired. I went to church today, I saw a lot of people, a lot of people. That's what they normally do. They come to church, first week, second week, third week, they start disappearing, small, small. Make sure that you've got a plan, make sure that you have decided exactly what you want to do, where you want to go, and how are you going to accomplish everything that you want. Guys, to be in your zone is the most important thing. All right, guys, the second thing, for not being decisive of what you want in life, that will create a doubt in you. You start doubting yourself, and then started doubting yourself, you see like, okay, whatever I was deciding to do, or whatever I was thinking to do, I don't think it will happen. Let me just give it another try, maybe next year. Now you're gonna waste another year, because you are unable to decide exactly what you're gonna do. And then that is a dangerous thing to do. Time is going, you're getting old, and some chances will never come back. Make sure that you don't doubt yourself. By not doubting yourself, it starts with you making a good decision, a correct decision for yourself, so that you can be able to go as far as you want to. Okay guys, it's quite hot. I just need to pull up a bed, just a bed for some time, um, so that we can just finish up uh, the last part, which is the third, uh, most important thing that I want to speak to you about just need a place where I can just sit and convey whatever I want to convey ah, let's see all right guys the third one that I want to share with you is fear um, as soon as you as soon as you have doubt in you obviously fear is starting to creep in and then you start asking yourself many questions and then you feel like, no, wherever you are, everything is good, you are comfortable, you don't need to go or change anything. Guys, you need to be in your zone so that you can be able to make calculative decisions. You need to know that this is what you want in your life. But when fear is there, you end up not able to do what you wanted to do. Therefore, you need to be careful because that's one of the biggest challenge that you'll come across for any change that you want to do. Yes, New Year's resolutions are easy to, to say to people or to yourself, but without plan, obvious, there's a problem because now you haven't decided. And then not deciding, you start doubting yourself that have I done or thought of this in the right way. And then you start, you know, having fear of going forward and doing whatever you want to do guys be careful on that it's the only thing that i wanted to share with you that as the year starts we've got so many things that we have planned for ourselves many things that we want to do but we end up not achieving them why because we don't plan we have a doubt we've got fear why because we don't plan well you know we don't decide what we want to do and then we end up having uh, doubts, we end up having fear. All those three things, when they are together, you know, they cause failure into whatever you want to do. Guys, I hope this will assist you into whatever you want to do as your New Year's resolutions. Lastly, guys, just make sure that everything that you plan to do, put it into existence. Write it down on your journal, pray about it in the morning you pray say it out loud if you put everything into existence it comes alive you leave it until you know you get it make sure also to work towards whatever you want to achieve don't just say okay i've manifested i've done this i've written down no you work towards everything that you want to do but yeah at the end of the day guys you will make it no matter what lastly lastly before i close this video um every year i've got a word from the bible that i leave with the whole year but this year it's the simplest one that says when the time is right i god will make it happen meaning whatever happens to your life god will make it happen as long as you persist and push and push God will make it happen. This is the end of the video. If you watch until this end, I really appreciate you and thank you so much. And I hope everything that I've shared with you, you are going to put it into practice and live with it. And yeah, until we meet on the next one, please make sure that you subscribe, you like, you share, and comment anything until we meet on the next one. Happy, happy 2023. Cheers.